I was born in Oakton, Virginia, um, Fairfax County, and grew up there. Went to school at University of Maryland. Uh, went to a small uh, private high school in uh, Flint Hill, right there in Oakton, so that's where it all started. All my friends played, so that's kind of how I started playing soccer and, you know, grew to love it more and more as I got older and, you know, just kind of stuck with it. So my first travel team was the SWYA Sidekicks um, out of Centerville, Virginia. And, uh, you know, we were a good club in Virginia, but not really well known. I actually played up a year for most of my travel soccer career. I actually had to miss, I, I still remember when the club started, I had to miss the first four games of the season. I was like so blown because I couldn't believe that I was going to miss games, but I wasn't old enough to meet the guidelines. So, you know, stuck with SWYA. And then once everyone started getting recruited for colleges, I moved to Potomac Cougars, actually where uh, Ethan White and I started playing, you know, out there. And that's where I started getting recruited by University of Maryland and then went off to college there. I spent three and a half years at University of Maryland and was fortunate enough to be drafted in the first round by Real Salt Lake. I spent four great years there, I learned a lot from a lot of great players and great coaches. And then um, going into my fifth year, they didn't pick up my option. So obviously I went through the whole re-entry draft process and wasn't picked up by any team, so kind of became a free agent at that point. And that's when NYCFC you know, gave me a chance to come into preseason as a trialist and try to earn a spot. I was so happy. I mean, just any opportunity was really what I was looking for. And, they gave me a chance and I'm so appreciative and grateful for that opportunity. And I knew, you know, it wasn't even a question. I was going to say yes. And I hopped on a plane and flew out to Jacksonville and that's where it all started. I mean, I was, I grew up a huge Arsenal fan. So I was a little bit, you know, starstruck when I saw Patrick Vieira and obviously grew up watching David Villa and Andrea Pirlo. It was just, you know, amazing to be a part of the training session with those two guys and Patrick as a coach, it, you know, it was awesome. But obviously my focus was really on trying to earn a spot. So I didn't try to think about it too much more, just focus on coming in and working hard and trying to earn a spot on the team. It's awesome, it's been awesome since day one. Everyone's been so opening and welcoming to me. Uh, really made me feel at home. And they're really, and obviously there are a lot of familiar faces that you know I knew through the league and growing up playing with. Uh, Rob Vartugan was a huge part of, you know, I think getting me over here and you know, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that NYCFC has given me. And, you know, like I said, I just try to improve every day and earn my spot. Guadalquil was, was an excellent experience and just seeing a different culture and different, different atmosphere is really, you know, mind opening and it's, it's great. That's part of the job that I love. We get to go to different parts of the world and see different cultures. And just walking into that stadium under that tunnel right before the game, I took a little video with my phone because I couldn't believe the atmosphere. I mean, it was great. That all the lights were turned off and they were still chanting and screaming. It was, it was great. You know, I told myself, you can't get up for a game like this. You're never going to be able to get up for anything. So it was really cool. It was, you know, that whole experience is kind of a blur looking back on it. It was great to get a goal, but just to be there with the team and to be able to help the team get a tie was really what was, you know, most important to me. Um, obviously, you know, scoring was great, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without the great play of our teammates. You know, it was a great build-up play. I think Maxi sent a great long ball. You know, Jalen was able to bring it down and pass it off to RJ, and he put a great little cross in. I was fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time and tuck it away. I actually got a text from my agent, like, in the middle of the night that night. I wasn't able to sleep that much because sometimes I have a hard time sleeping after games, and he sent me a text saying that, you know, they sent a contract proposal to the league, and obviously I was so happy because that's why I came here. I wanted to earn a spot and just being able to get that deal done was a great you know, weight off my shoulder so I could now just enjoy playing and really becoming a part of this family. I think obviously, first and foremost, I want to try to learn as much as I can. It's a new system, so I know I'm learning every day and it's going to be a process. I need to get used to that. But as a player, I want to get better every day also. And I have great people around me and great examples to learn from. I mean, just be able to, you know, kind of learn from Andrea Pirlo and just see how he does things. It's, it's amazing. And obviously playing with David Villa is great, but also there are other great midfielders around us as on the team. And it's just awesome to try to learn from these guys. I love playing anywhere in the midfield. Anywhere I can help the team in the midfield, I think, you know, I can be an asset. I like getting up and trying to, you know, create chances for the team, but I also want to work box to box and help the team defend when they need it. It's awesome, you know, it's closer to home for me, so it's a bit co more comfortable, I think. Uh, I have a lot of, I've got a lot of friends and family that are back in the area, not in New York City, but back in Virginia, and some of my friends are up in Boston and everything, so it'll be, it'll be nice. I'm not, it's not too unfamiliar to me, because 
I've traveled there a bit. My dad does a lot of business there, so it's, it's nice to get back to that area and that culture of the East Coast. It's, it's nice. I've enjoyed my time out West, but I'm definitely excited about the chance to move back East. Fans are excited. What's your message to them? I'm, ex I'm super excited. You know, I want to I want to make them as happy as, you know, this team's made me to give me a chance to, you know, prove myself. And I want to work hard every day and I'm going to work hard every day to, you know, make them happy and enjoy the results that I know NYCFC can, can get and hopefully we can bring back a few trophies for them.